After studying the construction, now we'll be studying about the working of the telescopic shock absorber. Whenever there is a bump on the road, the bottom eye moves upward and because of this movement, the pressure in the chamber B increases and the valve at the piston and foot valve opens. So the fluid which is in chamber B moves through the openings or the holes to the chamber A and also it moves to the annular space C. So this is how when there is a pressure build up over here the fluid goes to chamber A and annular space B. Whenever there is a pothole in the road the bottom eye moves downward and the pressure in the chamber B decreases and the fluid in the chamber A moves in the chamber B and also the fluid in the annular space C also moves in the chamber B. The movement of the fluid in these three chambers during when the vehicle faces bump or the pothole all the vibration is taken up by the movement of the fluid through this openings or the holes.